Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. A very, very good morning to you and welcome to Holy Trinity Blackford. It is so wonderful to see so many of you here this morning. And if you are watching online, you also are very welcome. As always, you might not be with us in body, but you are certainly with us in spirit. And it's so wonderful to see you here this morning. We are especially grateful to Sue, once again, who will be singing on behalf of us all, and to Sam, who... Oh, it's Philip who's singing on behalf of us all this morning. Yes. Uh, no singing, but we'll get there in the end. And we've got, and we've got Sam, who is on the organ for us, divining the pedals. Uh, so our first hymn this morning, uh, if you are watching this at home, you can sing away to your heart's content. Uh, but if, for us here, let's use it as an opportunity for silent reflection as we hear our first hymn this morning, which is, Dear Lord and Father of Mankind. Please sit or kneel to pray. And so we say together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven and to give us eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with all.
Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Please stand as we say the Gloria together, which you can find on page five in your service book. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Please sit for our readings. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Be 
Immediately he made his disciples get into the boat and go ahead to the other side. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But this time the boat battered by the waves was far from land, for the wind was against them. And early in the morning he came walking towards them on the lake. But when the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost, and they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat started walking on the water and came towards Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened and began sinking and he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? When you got into the boat, the wind ceased and those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. A couple of years ago, I attended a chaplain's conference on the American command ship USS Mount Whitney. When I got back to my own ship, HMS Albion, I remarked to the Royal Marine Sentry that the American naval chaplains each had their own personal marine bodyguard. Just the one, he responded, you've got 60 on here, Bish. This was brought home to me a few weeks later uh, when the captain called Hat Bathe. This is where the ship stops in the middle of the ocean and everyone except the duty watch and the sea boat crew on shark watch duty are encouraged to go for a swim. I'd been swimming for about 20 minutes or so when I noticed that the current had taken me quite a long way from the ship. I started trying to swim back but I found that I was getting nowhere and beginning to tire. I weighed up that drowning was possibly more embarrassing than asking for help so I requested assistance from those around me in the water. Instantly, I was scooped up by two burly marines who propelled me at speed back to the ship and safety, once again proving that I was still downgraded for walking on water. Peter's attempt to walk on the water in Matthew's Gospel follows him on immediately from the feeding of the 5,000. Jesus had dismissed the crowds and sent his disciples on ahead of him across the lake while he goes up the mountain to pray alone. Early in the morning, the disciples see Jesus walking towards them through the battering waves, and they cry out in fear, thinking that they are seeing a ghost. He calls out to reassure them, and Peter responds, Lord, if it is you, command me to come out to you on the water. When Jesus does so, Peter sets out confidently, but he is soon overcome by his fear of the wind and the waves. Jesus catches hold of Peter's outstretched hand, chiding him for his lack of faith. As they get into the boat, the wind drops, and the disciples worship Jesus. This incident is paralleled in Mark's Gospel, but Mark has one significant difference. There's no mention of Peter attempting to walk on the water to Jesus. So why does Matthew record this? The usual interpretation of this passage assumes that Peter would not have sunk in the ways if he'd only had enough faith, and indeed Jesus' words would initially seem to suggest this. But the disciples' lack of faith is also implicit in Mark's version of this incident, and has not in needed a description of Peter trying to walk on the water to make it so. The unfortunately named American scholar Eugene Boring has suggested that uh, Jesus' rebuke of Peter relates not to the fact that having more faith would have made walking on the water possible, 
but rather that Peter was demanding proof of Jesus' presence and power rather than relying on his faith. Boring draws a parallel between the form of Peter's words to Jesus, Lord, if it is you, command me to come from the water, and the words of Satan to Jesus in the wilderness temptations, if you are the Son of God. In the wilderness experience, Jesus is repeatedly tempted to prove his divinity to the world and to himself by the spectacular display of signs and wonders. His threefold response to Satan indicates a refusal to be drawn into the displays of supernatural pyrotechnics. And instead, Jesus focuses consist consistently on the God who alone is worthy of trust and worship. By demanding a miracle, he has fallen prey to the temptation to seek physical proof of his faith, and he is consequently rebuked by Jesus. The message of today's gospel passage challenges our inbuilt human tendency to demand proof of our faith, to ask that God should suspend the laws of his creation in order to make belief easier for us. So often we seek not faith, but for certainty. We have no problem at all in our lives when things are going smoothly, but when the wind and waves that are the realities of every human life threatening to swamp us, the lockdown, COVID-19, being diagnosed with leukemia, experiences of loss and aging that are our common lot, we can find it hard to hold on to faith. Perhaps now more than ever we need to hold on to our faith, however bleak and unpromising our current circumstances. However strong the winds or overwhelming the waves, God always wills and can do that which is our greatest good, if only we have faith to let him do so. Well, that was going to be the end, but I think considering the date, uh, it's worth having an unscripted epistle. Just over two years ago, I stood at Ground Zero in Nagasaki. Um, it's a remarkable place, it's very peaceful, uh, surrounded by trees in a, in a parkland. And um, there are only real signs that uh, anything has happened there are the two sort of stubs of uh, masonry, which are the remains of the Roman Catholic Cathedral, uh, which are standing just there. Sadly, uh, Nagasaki was one of the uh, uh, sort of uh, Christian enclaves in Japan. And I think uh, perhaps that speaks very much of, of uh, faith. As we remember not only that uh, devastating explosion, but also the uh, uh, explosion in Beirut this week um, and the, the deaths that it's caused. I think in the West, um, this is a particular uh, cause of mine, but in the West we're always inclined to say, how can God allow this to happen? Uh, whereas uh, in other parts of the world, they take the attitude, without God, how could we cope with this? Uh, and I think that that is an important thought to hold at this time um, as we continue through the pandemic um, and everything that affects our own lives in this country uh, is, is that we should remember that without God, um, we would find it hard to get through it. Amen. Let us stand and face the cross and say together the creed. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, 
Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Faithful God, we pray for the gift of deeper faith in you so that we may trust you in a way that alters our dependence on everything else and allows us clearer vision to the direction and role of the church. Remind us that it is your church and not ours. Your work, your power, and your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, Faithful God, as we call to mind the stormy areas of our world, the raging and the insecurity, the confusion and bewilderment, the restlessness and fear, let your calming and reassuring presence be sensed and recognized, bringing peace and goodness, righteousness and hope. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Little God, come to us in the storms of life when we let one another down, mishandle opportunities, and come to the end of our strength or patience, and bless us with the love that never lets us down. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Faithful God, we place into your loving keeping all those who have died, knowing their dependence on you and your limitless mercy. We thank you for them and their gifts to the world, and ask that we may in our turn come to you across the waters of death and live in your company forever. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Faithful God, whose promises stand for sure forever, we thank you for your patience with us and your refusal to give up on us. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please stand. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Please wave at each other. <laughs> So, Sam, if you'd like to uh, play us a small interview, please be seated while uh, I prepare the table.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Blessed be God who feeds the hungry, who raises the poor, who fills our prayers. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit he took flesh as your Son. Born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was portrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks he gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me Christ has died Christ is risen Christ will come again so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption as we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. We bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share in this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we are bold to say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to come under your roof, but only say the word, and I shall be healed.
Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace.
Holy Father, who gathered us here around the table of your Son to share this meal with the whole household of God, in that new world where you reveal the fullness of your peace, gather people of every race and language to share in the eternal banquet of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We say together, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Just need to grab one of these to uh, uh, check what uh, important notices uh, need to be shared. I mean, I think uh, everybody here and at home has probably got sight of one of these, um, but um, I'll try and draw it. Uh, uh, the uh, most important things. Um, you already know where the service is. So yes, I, 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 I've submitted a photograph for the uh, digital photograph record. Um, so uh, I strongly urge any of you who have done something, could be anything, um, uh, to, to, do, to do that. That's uh, uh, quite a fun thing to do. Uh, perhaps uh, something to mark a an achievement uh, that you've managed to uh, do despite the lockdown. I'm saying that there's uh, a family round us at uh, Allerton, that sounds like fun, on the 5th of September. Um, and there will be a resumption of midweek communion at St. Mary's uh, in the middle of August, I, I presume when Richard is uh, returned. And we've got the Harvest Festivals to look forward to, and the annual meetings, hooray, coming up in September and October. So I think, uh, uh, I think that's all I've got from here. Have, have you got anything, Sam? Anybody else got anything uh, important to add? Yeah, very good. In which case, we'll come to the, our final hymn, which Philip is going to sing, but we're not.
Peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name, in the name of, Christ. of Christ. Amen. Amen.